All right, YouTube, what's good? I forgot to do an intro yesterday. I didn't really have enough to make a full vlog. I caught two or three fish on camera. Then for the last two, the batteries had died and I was fishing in the rain and I just kept sticking it out and caught a couple more off camera. So I'm gonna roll that in with today's, but here we go. I hope you guys enjoy the first day's portions at a new spot for me, rolling it right now. What up, gang? We're rolling up on a new spot today. I have never tried somehow, some way. It's a gigantic golf course pond in between a couple different ponds that I normally fish and I just figured I'd turn into this neighborhood today and look what we have stumbled upon. There's so much rock around here and all these different cuts in. It just looks like bass paradise. And uh, so I've got a few different things tied on real quick from a recent excursion. I got a fluke right here for a little bit of something moving. I got the crack and crawl for something on the bottom. I can also swim it. I was getting hits swimming the crack and crawl in towards the bank yesterday. That's gonna be good for the rock right here. And I have a buzz bait, which I might toss around just for fun. It's a little cloudy today, storm's rolling in. And so uh, let's have at it, man. It's about 11.18 in the morning. And uh, I think we'll tee off right here. Do I want to throw the buzz bait and potentially get a hit? Or do I want to just go straight for the crack and crawl on these rocks and not scare anything away potentially? That is the question right now. I'm not convinced I'll get a hit on the buzz bait. Couple casts right here, but I don't want to spend too much time on it. It's already basically raining on me. So let me get out the crack and crawl, bury the hook in here, and get to work. Buy you a drink. Oh yeah, kind of right where I wanted to be. There we go. Bites. He's got it. That's a good one. I'm gonna let him fight for a second. That's a good one. Right there in that tree. We knew there'd be one. That's three pounds easy. Easy three pounder. Wow. A few casts in over here, you guys. Oh my goodness. Oh, well. I think that's fine. That's okay. Can we re-catch you? I'm kind of doubting it. Oh, we got him. Yeah. Well, okay. So that's a two and a half to three pounder right there on the first cast with the crack and crawl. I'd say that's a good sign. Uh, let's try and snag some more, y'all. Good thing. Uh, the only thing I have on my person is some more crack and crawls. I'm texting Bryce and Christian. I'm like, dudes, y'all gotta get over here. They're trying to wait out a little bit of this rain, I think. And I'm like, we gotta get after it. Look, he took a pincher and everything. Golly, we're gonna have to get a new crack and crawl. I will trade a crack and crawl for a three pounder. That is for dang sure. And guys, we're throwing the Alabama crawl color this morning. I knew right off that bush was gonna be good. I kinda got stuck in that tree and then I just catapulted it off of it. But, and I didn't set the hook right when I got those bites because I wasn't sure the fish had it or if it just kinda was messing with it. Then the line started swimming to the left. That's when I cranked her down and set the hook. Uh, if memory serves me. At least I set the hook, but I'm assuming I cranked it down a little bit beforehand. That's always good. What's gonna happen is you'll get that bite and you, you don't know if the fish is on. Wait till you see that line swimming in some cases. If it's a heavy bite, then you gotta go. But you know, if you're unsure if the fish has it, wait till you see that line moving a little bit, then crank that reel down to cut out that slack. That way you get a good solid hook set. That's why it didn't come off as I was over here letting it do its thing and run around a little bit, wear it out just a tad bit. That's also a good thing to do because sometimes when you try and just heave it up onto the bank when they're still fighting really hard, they can free themselves of that hook. I wonder if there's anything else hanging over there in that corner. Look at that cast right there. Whoa, did we get a bite? We did, we did, oh my god, we just had two bites back to back. They're over there, bros, this is insane. He's got it, he's got it. Oh, it's a crappie this time. No wonder it wasn't as big of a bite. We had to pitch in there and see if we could get him though. Bass and crappie are both hanging out in there. 
That's funny. You never know what's gonna hit on these crack and crawls. Switch it up and try this fluke for a second. Got one on the fluke, man. Never used it before. Woo! Guys, first ever catch on the fluke right here. Oh, man. Twitching them slow. Sweet. Right, right by the bank. That's how we do it. Oh, man. First ever fluke fish. Sweet. That is exciting. All right, that was cool. Never caught one on this thing before. And that was first cast with it along that bank. Just as if I was gonna throw the crack and crawl, I would have done the same. I say along that bank, along that uh, rock wall there. And it got him, man. Cool. Now I just gotta figure out how the heck I'm gonna get this hook back to where I need it. How do you freaking work this thing? Okay, we got this thing re-rigged. Let's try that again. That was sweet. Huge turtle right on the corner. Oh my gosh, look at him go. What's up, little man? All right, you guys, one's getting a little crazy. I want to check out the rest of this thing because this is like a huge lake, not even like a small pond. So let me grab the goods and drive around the corner real quick. See if we can't hit another area of this place that might be a little bit less windy. I liked how it was calm earlier with that crack and crawl, but this rain is rolling in, I believe, so we might not find another area like that we'll see <laughs> turtle rain started but i'm hoping to get a bite right here where this thing opens up this looks real good I was wondering if he had it. Ooh, that's a pretty good one right there. Two and a half pounder. Nice one, guys. Look at that sucker. Crack and crawl and all. All right, guys, hopefully you dug yesterday's footage. It was a pretty sweet spot. Apparently my buddies are always getting kicked out, but we uh, got lucky, I guess. I don't know, a little golf course pond, but on a rainy day, I don't think anyone's teeing off, so it went pretty well. Now let me go ahead and roll today's footage from Phillips Creek and uh, tell me what you think in the comments, would you? What's good, YouTube? We're out here at the spot. We're back out here at Phillips Creek Trail, y'all. We just pulled up with the pickup. Bryce and uh, Christian are a couple minutes late, I guess, so I'm gonna hit you with this quick intro. I'm gonna be throwing something a little bit different to start. You might have seen it in a recent video. You may not. It might be uploaded after this. I don't know. I'm throwing a white fluke. It's kind of got a little pink in it. I'm also throwing a drop shot. I brought the spinning setup. Should be some fun. I really want to catch some stuff on the drop shot since I don't do enough fishing with it. And then I've got the good old Texas rig, probably throwing a crack and crawl. There's a brush pile out here that we know of that usually produces, so I'm gonna start over here off this corner and see what happens. The guy should be rolling up anytime and I'm just gonna travel light today. I'm gonna bring the three rod and reels. Y'all know I usually carry so much it's ridiculous and then also I might not bring the big Plano fishing backpack. You guys always ask me questions about that. Plano fishing is the backpack I always use. Love it. So much space but I'm just gonna carry uh, the smaller Adidas bag today I think with a few little pieces of tackle and then uh, probably the big camera and the GoPro as usual, so I'll see you guys on the GoPro. There's half the gang right there, rolling up right on cue as soon as I finish the intro, that's good. Let's uh, grab what we want. We're gonna take that, we're gonna take these. What's going on? Take the keys, that's good. Batteries, a couple things of like baits. We got black and blue banditos. Uh, it's usually fairly stained over here, so that's pretty good. And then these craws, they are the Alabama craw, which is kind of like that orangish pattern on the bottom and the greenish on top. It's a beautiful color. Current setups are uh, lose 
Mach 2 speed spin spinning reel, 20 pound braid with a 15 pound Guggen Squad fluorocarbon leader for the drop shot on the Lunkers Limited spinning rod. Then we got the Lunkers Limited casting rod with the Shimano 17 pound fluoro for the Texas rig. And we have the John B rigged rod with the new Corrado K and 17 pound fluoro for our fluke. Let's get right into it. No way. Hey Christian. The camera's good, the settings should be right if you want to get it. Bryce, Thank for the first guys. one of the day. Thank you guys. <laughs> oh. Waiting on the cameraman. False alarm. Pop no, off. no, it was definitely there. There was no false alarm. <laughs> first cast. First cast, that's it. I might as well go home now. <laughs> Bryce had us all fooled. That's where we want to be. Should I go this way or should I go that way? Go, you should do a 360 blind cast. 360 blind cast. There we go. Catfish on the crack and crawl. All right. <laughs> There we go. All right, first catch of the day on the crack and crawl, little cat. Not the intended species, we're trying to get some bass. Oh man, y'all just missed this catch, that sucks. I literally cast it right over here on the rocks and it dropped down and he bit it. You guys missed it. Very bummed out I wasn't recording. That'll happen. Oh, man. At least it wasn't a big one. If it was a big one, I'd have been real upset. But <laughs> what I did was I casted and I landed on the wall and I just plopped it down and I was like, oops, made a mistake. Because I theoretically messed up the cast. But he was just hanging out right on the wall. I was just gonna say, I, I got one that first cast over here and homie just pulled out one from the fountain area. If the bite might be a little bit different over here. I'll come back and grab my stuff, that way you guys don't have to drag everything, but um, this, this side is probably pretty good. All right, I'm gonna go grab my gear, get the crew. I think we're gonna fish this one for a minute because I caught one first cast right here off the wall and uh, I just saw this guy over there catching one off the waterfall in the back. So maybe the bite's decent over here. We'll see what happens. We literally just got to this side and homie's got himself another one he's pulling out over there. I'm gonna throw this fluke around for a second, which I have now made my first catch on recently. Weedless fluke. Yeah. I'm gonna throw the fluke. He said white swim bait. Yeah, I got the crawl. I would throw that next. I'm gonna probably. Nope, line. I don't know. I think so. Got it. God, these rocks feel so good. Where's the fish at, bro? Oh, I'm snagged. Uh, I'll see you when I see you. I uh, think I'm fishing with John again. I will hit you up. All right, blokes, that'll probably wrap up today's footage. I hope you guys enjoyed that kind of multi-day vlog because I had to put these things together. I 
filmed a little yesterday and the batteries died. I filmed some today and then I didn't film the second catch. It was a sweet catch off the wall, man. I'm pretty bummed. But needless to say, we put two in one for you guys. I hope you dug it. Drop a like for it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notifications bell. We really appreciate each and every one of you and we'll catch you on the next video, y'all. Guys, wouldn't you know, we link up with a new buddy named Chris out here and he's pulling in the fish we can't get, man. Let's take a look at this guy. Nice little chunk on the Kitek. Kitek swim bait, you guys. That'll get it for an outro. How about that? Since I couldn't catch nothing today. <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next one. Peace. <gasps>